Hi guys, it's Lucy and welcome back to another video. So I have been asked recently if I could give some tips and advice on what you need to buy for paramedic science. Um, so I thought I'd make a video on that topic. This is specifically for uni students. It would see people asking everywhere what textbooks should they get, what shoes they need, etc. And I think a lot of it's to do with the stress of starting a degree. You don't know what to take. I'm the exact same. So here are some examples of what I would recommend you have. This is not in any particular order. Some stuff's a placement, some stuff's for the actual studying at uni and in lectures. Um, but yeah, it's all jumbled into one. The first thing I do recommend getting is something called a tough case. Um, this is an A4 size and it is for my placement portfolio. In first year my placement portfolio got very wrecked when my water bottle spilt all over it and yeah, um, so this year I decided to get one of these. They're not the best, I did drop mine on the floor and crack it, but um, it's kept it safe so far. Um, so yeah, I do recommend these. You get one on Amazon, eBay, you can get one from Ryman's. The next thing, and I feel like it's optional depending on how you study at uni, um, I need a lot of organisation in my notes, so it's quite heavy. Uh, get yourself plenty of notepads. I have specifically gone for pucker pads. Um, in first year I got a good deal on them and then also in second year I got a good deal on them. So it's the only reason I bought them. There are other notepads available. Um, if you do want pucker pads, student discount on uni days gets you quite a good percentage off when they are already at a good price from Ryman's. Um, so yeah, I do recommend looking around when you do if you do buy pucker pads. But yeah, basically I keep a notepad for every single topic. And I've got enough here to last me the whole three years of uni. Um, I'm currently in second year, so I've got enough for third year as well. Obviously, you don't need all of those if you do plan to take your notes on a laptop. Um, you probably will need some for studying, but for lecture notes, possibly not. The next thing, and I rave about it so much on social media, it's my favourite purchase. It is a little pocketbook um, and a couple of spares. I have got two spares, I think, as well. This is one of them. Um, basically... I put all my acronyms, all my drug suffixes, my drugs, assessments, history taking, observations, they're all in this and it goes in my pocket on placement. Absolutely brilliant. I put a pack of post-it notes at the back here, you can write all those on so you're not wasting loads of paper in this. Um, and yeah, absolutely brilliant. Best purchase I've made. Get yourself a pocket book. To go with the pocket book, and it is, well there's two things actually, it makes your pocket really, really bulky. Um, first thing is the JR Calc. You can get this on an app. Um, I would probably recommend getting the app to a certain extent because um, it's updated as soon as new guidelines come into place, whereas these update maybe every two years. Um, however, I just prefer buying things outright rather than paying subscriptions and stuff like that, which is why I just bought the book outright. And then is this. If I just turn over the page and show you, I made this myself. It's literally just a six by four photo album, and then I spent absolute hours and hours typing all this up, and then I got it printed from Boots Photos. Um, it's kind of the same as the pocket book, but it's just neater basically. But I can't part from the pocket book. Um, yeah, this is a lot more bulkier in your pocket. Sometimes I just leave it in my bag, but yeah, if you've got standby, studying from that, brilliant. The next thing, it varies on trusts you're gonna work for. It depends on what the uni gives you, um, but it's boots. Um, I don't wear these ones anymore, they're magnums. You're gonna need steel toe cap boots of some sort, and some unis do give them, mine didn't. We got a voucher to get boots. Um, but the voucher they gave us was for a shop that doesn't do female boots and steel toe cap boots generally come up big on females anyway, I'm not sure about men, but um, yeah, so I recommend either going to Shoe Zone, uh, they, do, they have quite a good steel toe cap collection and there's also 
Sports Direct. Uh, I have two, one pair from each, and they're brilliant. Um, one thing I will say about the Sports Direct ones, they're Dunlop. Um, the steel toe cap does dig in sometimes, but it's only when you're bending down with patience for a long period of time. Other than that, they're brilliant, So and they're cheap as well compared to Magnum. The next thing is just more notebooks. Um, you can't have too many notebooks, but this specific one is for every single medical condition I have ever come across on placement that I've wanted to research about. So all of that is just medical conditions and I use that specifically because it's a bit smaller than a normal A4 notepad and it goes in my placement bag if I do want to take it with me um, for revision purposes. So yeah, just a little one for that. Moving on to textbooks, personally I wouldn't buy many, if any at all, uh, before you start because your lecturers will give you reading lists. Um, your uni library will probably have a massive selection, however, um, I have two books, one I highly recommend and another one is the one I've used, it's not great, it's just an example of a textbook that you could do and get basically but first one I highly recommend is the concise human body book um, simply because all these massive textbooks that you can buy for anatomy and physiology they're just massive and if you're just going into uni for a few hours you might not need that um, so I bought this it was actually only about two pound off eBay and um, someone was selling it and it's absolutely brilliant it's just concise basically um, you couldn't do all your studying from this for an anatomy exam but it's a good starting point and it's small and then just as an example I'm not saying go and get this textbook um, it's the essential anatomy and physiology it's just an example of one you can get if you did want to start early and get an anatomy book um, it's not the best uh, personally for me but it might be for you Another textbook I have just thought about is um, this one, it's the ECG workbook, uh, absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm not sure if there's a textbook that goes with this, I think there's got to be. There's a practical aspect of ECG recordings on the back, I don't know if that's a linking one, but yeah the actual workbook is brilliant, it's not very thick at all. Um, and it just goes through ECGs from start to finish. Makes sense, you can highlight it, you can write on it. It's good. And one thing, <laughs> it's gonna sound really stupid, but get yourself some hand cream. Um, we use a lot of alcohol-based hand gels and they, they wear your skin out. And that for now is everything I can think of recommending. Obviously you don't need all of this, you don't necessarily need a photo album with all your notes and this might be something you do later on going into second year when you've got a bit more knowledge. Um, but yeah, it's just some examples of stuff I found useful. Uh, I hope that's a little bit of help, um, especially to the person who asked me to make something like this in a video and I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye guys.